the department is particularly uh, focused on photofunctional materials. That means a molecules or material that carry the function upon light irradiation. We have a strong track record to study uh, electronic excited states, how to generate, how to understand it, and how to moderate. The original objective of Hong Kong U Trans Academic Science Joint Project on New Material actually is to hopefully to establish a platform whereby the chemists and physicists and together with the scientists from trans academic science could collaborate together. With this kind of collaboration, hopefully that will uncover new materials. The collaboration allows us to develop new hybrid materials for energy conversion, such as photocatalysis for fuel production. There are regular visits and uh, exchange activities between the two institutes and this helps to nurture young scientists with a broad research scope and experimental techniques in different areas of material research. The Hong Kong UC has joined the approach and also the Department of Chemistry and right now has engaged a lot of collaboration effort with transactable science to develop a sustainable catalyst for organic transformation reactions. Of course, it's the organic light emitting dials technology. So we call it the OLED. OLED play a very important role in the display technologies. Uh, we have been working the platinum emitter. It turned out to be quite successful, pretty robust, uh, as good as the uranium emitter in the green petrol region. It's already announced by Samsung company and all my industrial partner in mainland China with our own pattern. And as far as the red emitter, which is uh, important uh, to all the industry, of course, uranium emitter is pretty good. But at the same time, we also develop platinum red emitter. Although we haven't published the details because of the commercial secret, because of the nature of the platinum, we will be able to also further develop into the near infrared emitter. So I think the near infrared emitter down to let's say 900 to a thousand wave number are pretty important in bio imaging and all these sort of things. More recent, uh, Samsung announced that today they will uh, commercialize or they will produce a platinum blue emitter. Along in this area, we have already have our own patterns. For the industry, we have been trying to work together to optimize because the, for the device, it's not just the emitting material itself, there are other kinds of uh, complementary things, the host material and other things, the device structures. Professor Chi is a world famous researcher in this field, and the uh, Professor Chi also had a very great, very wonderful research group, had all those to be able to art uh, research facilities. And uh, we think we can uh, combine our industrial experience with Professor Chi's academic. Uh, background and then we can combine and make great material to improve the OLED display to another level. This material can emit very good eff efficiency and uh, very bright light and use less power consumption. This is very good for the portable displays like our smartphones, our smart watch, uh, even AR, VR, those kind of applications. This is the golden time for the materials research. Let's say in the Hong Kong U Trans Academy of Science joint project on new material and also in this region. And partly also because of the establishment of the Hong Kong Quantum AI project. I'm Professor Chen Guanghua, Managing Director of Hong Kong Quantum AI Lab, which is a joint center of Hong Kong U and Caltech. We bring together experimentalists, computer scientists, and data scientists to tackle the pressing challenges in OLD, lithium-ion battery, and other material research. The idea is using machine learning and also this kind of data analysis uh, in the designs of new materials. Using the AI method actually will help to speed up the discovery or the improvement of the material that we would like to have. Professor Chen Kuan and his team 
and also collaborate from engineering and also from the companies to try to optimize the performance for the OLED emitting materials. And of course, we, they also are working, let say, for the lithium battery. There are other projects. To us, it is pretty exciting.